Welcome back, everyone, to Pathologic. You're here with Anne Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven. When we have an appointment at the Bone Stake, and we should have an appointment at one of the stairways to heaven. I checked the southern one, and Peter wasn't there. So I'll check the northern one and see if Peter will play ball. But first, bandages, tourniquets, now. Christ. Do you remember when we had money? Yeah, neither do I. That's it. All the money. Gone. For that. Well, we best make the best of it. Oh, it is! I realize it now that it's still very early. I won't be able to find any kids to trade with right now. Because it's their help I need. I'm going to need a hefty supply of Meridorm. And only uh, only the youngins are going to give me that. Then again, I'm shocked at like how much I've got myself together for the time being. Hmm, I think I see an executor in here. If... I, if, if he may have seen where Peter went. Oh, wait. Hey, lady. Hey, hey, oh. Can you fix my clothes, please? Poor, 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 madame. I don't know if I can afford any of this. I can afford all of it. I don't have any money, but now I'm not going to immediately die when I get hit. So there's an executor there. No sign of Peter, but he might know something. Oh god, the morning of the 10th day has come. It all ends in less than three days. Total death toll, 6,200. 132 gone missing. Wish the creators of the impossible take the stage to discuss captured miracles. Are you fucking serious? Fucking kill me. I'm not. I'm not putting up with that shit. Maybe there's got to be another way in. That doesn't involve the fire. That I don't have any way to extinguish it. We just dump all the water out. Maybe I can step on the rubble or fit through this little area. Platforming in my plague game. Oh shit, it's more likely than you think. Come on. Hell yeah! I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get out, but I mean, probably taking a drop from the, uh, the tall heights will be less painful. Oh! Jesus Christ! Peter, I didn't recognize you. Send me the dark blue flame. I desire to burn down not in the earthly but in heavenly fire, so please do bring me this spicy spirit. Bring me my smoky, dense, odorous sap. I want to burn myself in Twyrene. How about some water? Okay. That does nothing. You look like hell, mate. So you've changed your mind and become the master of cremations after all. Is this how you want to die? Silence. Listen to my confession. I'd rather confess to you than to her. Listen. I shall tell you of what I had, to ma I had managed to create. When I studied architecture for the longest time... I remained passive, and I didn't do or make anything at all, except observations. It always seemed to me that any house is so much more than walls, a hearth, and a roof. It's hot, Peter. This story's going to take a while. Why don't you come over here? At last, I realized that any building, I that any building is an edifice, a concurrence of planes, lines, rhythms, and temperatures that can become a perfect vessel for a soul. Not a human soul, a bigger one. The soul that no man can communicate with yet, for it has no shape, cycle, or voice. Was it that beautiful? I don't know. Neither did I know or experience this soul back then. I only sensed its existence and loved it in advance. When my passion reached its zenith, I realized I just couldn't live like that any longer. I wanted to speak its tongue. I wanted to touch it. Go on, go on. And so I gradually began to try. I started to design buildings that were more that were not buildings. Chambers that people couldn't live in. Everyone thought I was either a madman or a joke. Only my brother believed in me. 
He and the few that were privy to my secret, they knew that my designs were not intended for men, but rather for this wondrous soul, and what came out of that. Finally, I understood that I was on the right track. I knew I discovered an insane but genuine feature that only a lover can feel, and I knew I was striking true. I constructed project after project, but all of them contravened the laws of earthly physics and geometry. Seems like my beloved soul was unlikely to find a permanent shelter on this earth. Why? Chimeras. They were all chimeras. Nobody would have allowed me to even model them, if not for Nina the Wild. Oh, and that's when my brother and I met her. She married Victor, went to live here and provided me with everything. The place, the materials, the working hands, and most importantly, the hearts willing to believe in miracles. What do you mean? I mean that buildings demand people. Moreover, they demand the people that would demand those buildings back. Museum showpieces, models, abstractions, mind games. These are all not my cups of twirene. Nina gave me a whole living town. A town aching and craving to go heavenwards to the stars. A town desperate, hungering for a crown. The crown I've given to it. Is that so? I've built it from prisms and mirrors. I've managed to focus them to capture the perfect trick of the light and dream. That's right. I am a trick master, the ultimate magician. I focus the aura of magic just like a lens focuses sun rays, and now the town is dying, poisoning my pre precious wreath, my crystal bud, my focus. So what can the polyhedron really do? I cannot put it into words. It's only been tested by the children yet. If you ask them, they tell you that it brings their dreams to life plays their games, daydreams with them, transports them into someone else's fantasies. Have you heard anything about it? I have. But the canes could tell you even more. They tell you that this is a vessel that can hold the most precious substance of all, the focus of a soul. But even they cannot understand what they've been granted, and neither can I. And I will never be able to repeat it. I'm dead. So this is suicide. It is. See, I was smart enough to take my designs of my creation to the parting. Give them to me, as a keepsake. Old boy, I'm thirsty, old boy. Bring me five bottles of Twyvine, and you can have the designs. No one would be able to decipher them anyway, and if they do, no one would be able to build it. I'll be back soon. Five bottles of Twyvine. That's going to be difficult to manage, especially considering how absolutely broke I've become. Um, I think I might be able to jump outside the fence. I know I'll take damage from the fall, but okay, so the fire will actually do less damage. Noted. <laughs> Maybe there's some way to avoid it or some way to get out of this garden without meeting it. I knew that there's a way in, but is there a way out? So he wants five bottles of Twyrene to drown his sorrows. I know I can buy some from Andre, but I'm going to need a lot more than that. Can I climb up this piece? Or is Peter in the way? Come on. Can I... Can I jump? Okay, I cannot actually step on these pieces. They are introversible. Noted. There's no way to go through there. I will do whatever it takes to avoid going through that fire. Okay, that doesn't actually raise my elevation. I can't interact with the flame. I can only walk through it. So I'm going to... So, so the resistant clothing did actually help. Noted. Best to ignore the bullets. Let's see if Andre can provide me with some twirling. If not, I'm gonna need to make some money fast. And that's going to be tricky. Maybe if I check out the spectacle for Mark, he might be able to do something? Oh god. I'm surrounded by rats. Oh. How much for a bottle of toy, I mean, my good man? More than I can afford. Um, let's see what I can sell. 
I'll keep the Barak file. Don't know why. Take the silver ring. I could start selling some water. I don't need the alpha tablets. Those are useless to me. Um, Gamma tablets? No, I want those. As good as it's going to get, I think. Unfortunate. Okay, three bottles of Twyrene. I just need two more. I won't be able to buy any more from Andre. And I couldn't trade with those, um, with the, with the patrolmen. No, they didn't, they, they'll, I can give them Twyrene and they can give me food. Um, I don't know exactly where to get any more. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. some other places to get to I mean well the the step people have had twirene extract that's um, okay so I need to understand that my range with this knife is much greater than I think it is and I need to stay the fuck back Okay. All right, it's not a matter of money anymore. It's a matter of Twyrene sources. What the fuck? What the hell are you people doing? They say it was brought at night, but they also say not, not to say a word about it. It's no coincidence, I say. On whose orders? On whose orders? Beats us. There, that smart man over there. Ask him. Let's see what the smart man has to say. Diving in right now. Over here. Listen, people. Hearken to the heaven sign, for this is a parable. Listen to my explication, fair people. For this is a simple sign for us to know who is to blame for all our woes, for all our suffering. And who would that be? People, gather around, or better yet, call for your neighbors and relatives and nearest and dearest. For the meaning behind this is as follows. The Cain's Tower is killing our town. The bull here represents it, and the sharp stake, this shameful stake, is a symbol of the Cain's vile creation. They're obscene philosophizing. What's gotten into you? Wipe them out, the monsters. Simon was a monster, for his sins had brought this pestilence upon us, and Maria, his granddaughter, would soon reach the stars and ply us to her will with her magics, just as her mother Nina used to do in days past. She must be killed, torn apart, and thrown for the people to relish. That's it. I'm shutting you up in the most reliable manner known to men. What a monster. Still alive, no doubt. Albeit, it may shortly breathe its last. No wonder these mind simple minds get so agitated. They see this as a simple, a message. The worms look shifty, however. I have the feeling this celestial revelation was set up by a human being and meant to serve a mundane purpose. I wonder what Mark has to say about it. Oh, you know what? I should talk to Andre about uh, Peter's desire for Twyrene. I don't know why I didn't. God damn it. I was right there. Doesn't this guy not have any more bandages? No. All he's got is Meridorm. Shit. But, yes, I should speak to... Interesting. I can see it from much further away now. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I know what I need to do. I just need to figure out where to get some more twirling. Andre? All which is counterfeit displeases us with the very things which charm us in the original. 
I'll never leave yeah. my little brother again. I'll stay right by his side, and I won't let anyone come too close. You may have withdrawn too far away while you were out here boasting. I need to find other sources of firing. Does bad grief sell them? I'm not sure. I'm not sh sure. That was close. It sounds like the sort of thing that's contraband, so I bet he does sell it. But if that's the case, I'm going to need more money. More than 1500 Which means... Let's... Get... Looting! find some kids to trade with. No food? You're killing me. Oh, shit! Gold mine! Holy fuck. time I was in a house like this there were three but you know I'd be I'd be satisfied with only two and I'm still going to have to restore my health to get back through the fire oh hell yeah give me those good meds I'm low on Pistol ammo. Yeah, I think I can just keep reloading it because I don't have enough. Unfortunate. Um, I don't. I don't think I can figure out how many I have left in the chamber. I had two, and I fired three, so I've got five shots left. I fire five shots or six. Well. Okay, so I've got four left. What the hell is this? A repellent cape. I'm not sure which is better, but when the repellent cloak fails, I'll put on the cape. I'm all stooped in my chair and totally focused. Come on, give me the good stuff! Woo! Oh, yes! Oh my god, yes! All right, okay, I can make use of this. And he's just falling through the through the wall. No, no biggie. Okay, that's enough for this. Worst case scenario, I'll have to fucking fight these guys with a goddamn scalpel. Jesus Christ. Noted. I can, uh... I can uh, check things out while I'm reloading. Hey, I got all these pills. Oh yeah, who who wants all these pills? And take all this goddamn kerosene. I don't I don't need the lamp. Uh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Alright, that was super profitable. Uh, but, knife's out. 
Drop us out, boys. Let's see if Grief has any Twyreen. If he doesn't, this is going to get complicated. If he does, then everything will be fine. Oh, oh, there, there he go. Christ. 